It's weird. This, uh, this maneuver is like, it'd be like if you walked up on somebody and you grabbed them and you start shaking them violently. And then you stop for a second and then you recharge and you... It's weird. It's like this grabbing and shaking and jerking motion sets your muscles up weird like it. Kind of like almost like how a squid, how a squid's muscles where its legs work it's like they're they're like jelly all right it's like a tube with no it's like a hose okay like a water hose you know how you plug a water hose and all of a sudden it it, it tightens up as the water goes through so <laughs> it's similar to that that shaking <laughs> like jellies them up and empty empties <laughs> empties them out and then it, it like sets it up for that so you grab them, shake, and as you, as soon as you stop shaking, you want to scoot that back leg in. So that's what gives you, that's what will give you that explosion. Because this right here too, this motion, if you grab someone and just shake them, like you just grab their arm like this with both hands and go, and then push real hard. That will straight up blow someone's equilibrium out for a second because I mean look when you go when you get that step in here and then you when you bust through with some of these uh grabs like seizes like plus when you grab a hold of someone like when I do I squeeze I get a, a grip on the muscle and squeeze so it's like it's almost like a strike every grab is also kind of a strike and like I mean it's a very violent violent way to fight like say i took my hands and got them up in here and i went it would it would leave like <coughs> like two black bruises like this because when you grab you just you twist you twist or you could twist with one and then rip with the other and i mean <coughs> It's possible, I've, I've been told it's possible to shear off flesh. And, uh, I mean, that's probably going to come from, like, that full turn. And then a rip, you know, and a punch in. So, a lot of these, even these punches, like, look, if I hit with the, with the, this part, I could hit that and then grab a hold so it's like two strikes. 
But sometimes when you grab a hold of someone, it also gives them a, a lever on you. Because now it's like you're tied to a, a wild beast. So it's like, sometimes it's okay. <laughs> sometimes it's not. So just something to keep into consideration. For instance, like, look, if I grab hard here. My face is totally open to be striked. I mean, unless you, what you do is you would scoot your face up next to theirs. So, I mean, if they could hit you, they could only hit you like that. And there's ways you could, you know what I'm saying? But you could hold from there and just go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, that'd be extremely painful, especially for a person with a lot of extra jiggly down there. <clears throat> or you could catch the neck. You catch that ear. <laughs> you know, even uh, cheeks, anywhere under the armpit, on the inside of the leg. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different spots you can just snatch <laughs> and give it a squeeze. But I, like I said, it's a violent way to fight. So you can't do it just, uh, you can't get too uh, slack with it because you'll hurt people. Or, you know, and that's just... It's just not nice, you know, so unless you're, I mean, unless it's life and death, like a man's trying to rape a woman, if she snatches up someone like that, well, they deserve it, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's okay then, I mean, unless I'm, you know, uh, you know, uh, out, uh, fighting some, uh, samurai showdown out in the woods, I don't plan on ever having to do that to anyone, <laughs> But I know how to. So instead, I just, I just do it. I just gotta imagine if that was a person, just me, right there, grabbing myself on the shoulder, shaking, <clears throat> and giving it a nice push off. Basically, because <laughs> I mean that right there, to actually do that to a person, a real person standing there with me, that would uh, be called assault, and this is called practicing. <laughs> in training, <laughs> uh, there's there's a time and place though. You know, some people are conditioned to handle those kind of uh, maneuvers anyway. So those are the type of people you can train with. But you just still you go easy enough. You're not trying to snatch out any eyeballs or uh, you know uh, sear off or <laughs> uh, rip off, tear off flesh. Uh, you're just trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's just nice to have someone to practice on. All you gotta do is get a hold, give it a nice squeeze. It's just like, same thing. If they tap too hard, just let them go. It, it, I, I, I don't really hear a lot of Kung Fu. I see a lot of Kung Fu dudes talking about strikes, showing box. But I haven't heard not many people talk about that actual, that, that grab strike. I mean, you can even hit. Or you could hit, and then you can grab. I mean, there's just different ways to apply the, just a, a, a grab into just the body. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can grab any part with the claw, <laughs> and people don't. I see a lot of strikes, a lot of throws. I mean, I see, uh, see some of these kung fu guys, like the real dudes from China. They're so damn fast, you really can't see what they're doing with their hands. You can't see what shape it's in. You can kind of see what it looks like, but you really can't see it. They're like, <laughs> you don't really know what they did. You got to keep watching it like 20 times to actually like figure it out sometimes. I, I find that quite, uh, that's funny. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm running out of time. <laughs>